Men know very little about marriage. We don't know what the heck we're getting into. Morons, we're goofballs, we're doofuses, we're walking doofy. We don't know. I don't know, I don't know. We don't know. We don't even know when we do something wrong, do we? You see a guy being yelled at by his wife at the mall? He says, well, what? What did I do? What? My God, calm down, will you? Well, what did I do again? You sure it was me? Might have been another guy. All right, I won't do it again. Of course we do it again. You know why? Because we're not listening in the first place. It's change when you get married. Only a wife will blame her husband for the smell of industrial waste. Something smells odd, she looks right at me. We're in a car, we're on a bridge, we are directly on top of an oil refinery. She turns to me, was that you? Oh yeah, that was me. That's right, I had Chernobyl for breakfast. My wife likes to compare her body. She compares her body with other women's bodies. Then she wants me to help her in the comparison. This, my friends, is a no-win situation. <laughs> Honey, see that girl over there? Is my rear end bigger or smaller than hers? All of a sudden, I'm the official rear end inspector. <laughs> How do you win, especially when it's bigger? What do you say? Yeah, your rear end is 10 times the size of that girl's rear end. Here, here are the satellite photos. You figure it out. Look, you're right next to the Kmart. See, that's you. You can't see the K, but I'm telling you, that's the Kmart. Poor men, so many things we have to figure out. Items and products we're not used to. You get married, boom, potpourri. What the heck is potpourri? I didn't even know there was a product out there called potpourri. At least now I know what it is. Expensive bags of smelly mulch. <laughs> Bag of mulch, you ever take a look at it? What is it? Nut, rock, piece of bark, some leaves, some grass. It smells like cinnamon, costs 58 bucks. <laughs> smelly mulch, and it's everywhere. I said, honey, why do we need so much? Potpourri, ooh, I just want to disguise certain odors. I don't think it's any small coincidence that most of those bags are near my things. I go by the cat box, there's no potpourri there. The ladies, what's the story with the pillows? Before I got married, I had one pillow. Now that I'm married, 4,386 pillows. What do you do with all the damn pillows? What do you need them for? Igloos, barricades, what? And they're all over the bed, I can't sleep on that bed. Not a bed for me, it's a bed for the pillows. <laughs> pillows live on that side of the bed. Sometimes I go to bed, there's 30 pillows, I wake up, there's 45. How does that happen? 